going on everybody? Chad here. It's the end of the day-ish. Have a package. Maybe one, maybe two. But I do have this one from Fuzzy and the Fat Man. Uh, you know what? I think out of, I mean, there's there's quite a few uh, whatnot channels that I really adore based on personality alone. And his is one of them. I mean, if you ever want to hear what WWE or AEW would be like uh, live on whatnot, he has it down to the T completely. It's, it's just, it's so damn funny to listen to. I can't watch because I always see the comic. But I just get a visual in my head of two, you know, wrestlers just trying to beat the hell out of each other. And I think it's fun. I mean, who doesn't love the great male soap opera known as professional wrestling? All right, who is this from? Packing Slip. Eh, who needs it? But what I do need is this comic right here. I've been trying to get my hands on one of these for a while, but I finally did. How much did I pay for this guy? Oh, oh no. Oh, what the front door? Okay, well, I hope the comic is safe inside this mess here. Okay, well, I mean, this shouldn't happen. This is, this is, this is not even me. This is, this is pretty much unacceptable. Wow. That book could have been, oh, come on. Well, it presents really well. I need to get, hold on. No, this has got to go in a, right now. So you guys can look at my blinds for a second. Make sure they don't go anywhere. <sighs> okay, let's just put this thing in a bag and board. I noticed on the back there's a tick. Of course, that person didn't show this up front, but that's okay. This part is the best part right here. Sensational She-Hulk, 48-page special. This is just a beautiful cover to own. The front looks really good, uh, but there is that right there. I don't know if you guys can, uh, I can't get the right angle for it, but there's this little, little tick there. But overall, this looks fantastic. It'd probably get a nice, you know, maybe 9.0, 9.2. So, yeah. But this, it wasn't even a tape job. This was just pretty much, it was just sitting, like, you can't, you can't even make this up. Like, there wasn't even the tape that did it. It was just a jacked up poly bag, mangled, and then the book was sandwiched between, thank goodness it was sandwiched between two boards, but... Now, well, I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus of who that was, but I only bought one book from them, and that's fine. Probably won't go back. But I'm going to make sure I go back in my, my records here. I'm not even giving the shout-out. Sorry, man. That was just... This might even be worth a, a, a bad rating. I didn't want to even give anybody bad ratings on whatnot, but... Thank you for putting the painter's tape, at least. I mean, at least right here, this is sandwiched with some heavy-duty, you know, cardboard. These things, these books, and, and it's not bubble wrap to boot. This is Fuzzy and Fat Man. Fuzzy and the Fat Man. Uh, yeah. Probably one of the, the most entertaining shows on whatnot, besides quite a few others. Like Hard to Come By and, and, just, and, and Sims Guy. and But... His commentary is just phenomenal. You could really make it big in the uh, in the wrestling field as an announcer. All right. See now, this is good because I can actually cut through it without cutting the books. Like that one. Remember that one time? It's just off the lip here, so you can go ahead and cut the tape without cutting through books. Still a sad situation. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to find another decently priced comic to replace the one I, I 
you know, you know. All right, cool. Don't need that. All righty. I don't even remember what I got, but let's see. Here's is this my invoice. Moving on. All right. Let's get these. Let's not look at the. Let's not look at what we got here. You know, just a few books. Didn't go. Didn't go ham this time. I appreciate the double cardboard. All right. Here we go. Oh. Nice! I got this for a hell of a deal. It's a, it's a, it's the okay, um, but this is the Amazing Spider-Man 136. Uh, Green Goblin lives again. Don't look at the price up there because that's not what I paid for it. Let's see what I, what, did I, what did I pay for that one? Not that. <laughs> so besides having that guy right there, I mean, this is a pretty fair book. I am happy to own it. Here's the Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Bam, I don't have this one. Add this to my wonderful Spider-Man collection. And because I have yet to even have one of the, but there's one I really want bad. Here's the uh, Peter Porker Spectacular Spider-Man. There it is, number one. And what did I get that one for? Steal of a deal? <laughs> so yeah, the Spider-Man Annual presents Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man. Now, usually this is the time where I go through each one of these and go, which one do I like best? Uh, despite the poor packaging, this beautiful She-Hulk, and I'm going to have to go with, even though the book is only in like decent quality, this is just a dope action cover. This is The Amazing Spider-Man 136. So, with that being said... My name is Chad. Thank you for watching. Still not going to out the person who sold me the, the Sensational She-Hulk. It's not worth, you know, all that grief. But, I mean, that was kind of poor. Just going to say, I'm going to only be honest here. I'm going to think that everything's great. But, can't wait to add this to my collection. Shiny foil. Uh, moving up in price. But, just a beautiful book. With that being said, I am your local neighborhood spider Chad. Until I see you again, which will be maybe before Christmas because I got a surprise showing up earlier than I expected. Bye.